Another report of sexual harassment involving politics surfacing uh, today. Daily Caller investigative reporter Luke Rosiak has the story. It involves Congressman Gregory Meeks of New York. Now, fill out the whole story because it's not Greg Meeks who's being accused of sexual harassment. Tell us all about it, please. That's right. The House settled a lawsuit alleging that Gregory Meeks fired a staffer for reporting sexual assault at the hands of a campaign donor. So the lawsuit says that this donor came in and screamed at Gregory Meeks and said, you need to make this go away. And Meeks turned around to his staff and says, when a campaign contributor comes to me with a problem, I need to take that seriously, and I got a complaint. So he fired the staffer. He denied her unemployment. He basically lied about the reason for firing her. Uh, and this woman uh, filed a complaint with the House saying, look, this is retaliation for reporting sexual assault. Uh, so this is just like the other cases we've seen. It involves the Office of Compliance, this secretive office set up in the House that basically uses taxpayer money as a slush fund to pay off and buy the silence of staffers okay. who are abused so, in different ways by Let me straighten this out. So the, 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 the woman who complained that she'd been fired, she complained, said it was a cover-up of sexual harassment. She laid a complaint on the House. She was paid off with taxpayer money at the insistence of Greg Meeks, is that it? Right. Is this, so this is another one that was hushed up until the current explosion of sexual harassment charges brought it out in the open, is that right? Exactly, and there's really bipartisan agreement that this Office of Compliance needs to go, whether you're a fiscal conservative or a feminist, this is the definition of the swamp, and Gregory Meeks is really the only person who's defending it because he actually explicitly argues in this lawsuit that taxpayer money should cover this, not himself personally. He said, look, this is why we have an Office of Compliance, so they pay it out, and I shouldn't have to personally Whoa. bear the brunt of this lawsuit. Whoa, uh -huh. Whoa. that's pretty strong stuff. Uh, get away from me, let the taxpayers yeah. pay. That's really extraordinary wow. stuff. Do you, do you think that there may be other, some, maybe other revelations to come out of these hushed-up sexual harassment settlements? I do, and this would be recorded as a retaliation settlement, not sexual harassment. So when they're releasing certain figures involving how many settlements there were for sexual harassment, you have to keep in mind there's other ways they, they fudge the numbers and they classify them in different ways, and this is one of those. Well, so the, the argument, the, the question always stands here, why should taxpayers be on the hook for the misdoings of their elected representatives? Right. And, there's, yeah, there's really no good reason for it. And, you know, this one is, it's not Gregory Meeks that did it personally, but on the other hand, we're not talking about just sexual harassment. This was an actual sexual assault. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if the lawsuit is true, he's basically saying he'd rather have his own staffer be sexually assaulted mm -hmm. than potentially lose a few bucks in campaign contributors' uh, dollars, which is really just uh, astonishing. Luke, you're known as a, as a really good investigative reporter. May I ask if you're looking at any other instances of this kind of hushed-up settlement in Congress? Yeah, you know, it's a real trend, and I think you're going to see more of this coming out. Okay, and you're working on it, are you? I know I, you, can't, I you can't tell me. I know you can't tell me. But I just want to know, you're going to be back soon with another story, aren't you? Yeah, that's right. Okay, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome back. <laughs> Luke Rosiak, thanks very much for joining us. Good stuff. Good reporting, you. young man.